Let's go Pack the camping gear Let's go Weekend's almost here Let's go Time to hit the road With the Carolina Camper Show Folks, welcome to today's version of the Carolina Camper Show. Today we're going to show you guys how to make cheeseburgers great again using this Blackstone Tailgater Grill. Now let's take a look at what we need to put this great meal together. We have everything we need to make cheeseburgers great again. Our fresh ground hamburger meat, cheese and lettuce, sliced bacon, sesame seed buns, and some nice big potatoes to make our fries with fresh tomatoes, onions, and all the condiments we need to make cheeseburgers great again. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to get some nice tomato slices here. Oh yeah. Onion. Yes, yes. And we're going to start slicing on our potatoes. We're going to just make them not too big, not too skinny, just a um, quarter inch size. And we're going to slice these. We're going to do a double cut on them. So we're going to get this slice down. And we're going to flip these sideways and come with our cross cut. Oh yeah, looking good. And this will make some really nice fries. Absolutely. Careful you don't put a couple fingers in there with the cut. I'm oh already, yeah. I'm already getting hungry. Ready to fry. Okay folks, now we'll give our fries a little spa bath. Got a nice bowl of cold ice water right here. And Rick, Mike, the reason we're doing this is this is going to take some of the starch out of the potatoes and it's going to help them from sticking in the oil. There we go. Nothing worse than sticky fries. Absolutely right there, brother. We're going to put two quarts of oil in this pot and the uh, reason we want to make sure the top of the fries are covered in oil. Oh yeah. Okay, and next folks, we're going to put our thermometer in it at all as we uh, will heat it up 300 degrees. And we're going to heat it on this Blackstone grill. Let's turn this gas on and let's get this fire going and let's get this oil up to 300. Oh yeah. Fire away. Fire in the hose. Okay folks, fries had a little spa bath. Yeah, now they're gonna go in for a little oil bath. Mm, that sounds good already. We're gonna cook these, Mike, for 10 minutes and we're gonna pull them out. We're gonna let them rest for 10 minutes. Okay, folks, we're gonna patty up our burgers now. And Rick's using his hazmat suit, it That's appears. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're a little paranoid of germs, you may wanna go that route. Randy and me, we just prefer to wash our hands. <laughs> anyway. At least he's got less cleanup. That's right. And we're poking that burger right in the middle there, just so they fry up good and even. And Mike, I'm going to throw these on the grill. Oh, yeah. You can see how thin they are. Those are going to make nice little double cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. Nothing sounds sweeter. Burgers on the grill. Okay, and uh, I'm going to add a little salt here and pepper. All I ever use on a burger is salt and pepper, Mike. That's all you need. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're pulling these fries out and going to let those rest for 10 minutes before we drop them back in for their second cook. And, folks, now uh, time to flip those burgers. You can see there's a little red here on top. That blood's rising to the top. And that's your first good indicator. It's time to flip them over here. And these so thin, Mike. These are almost done. Just a few more seconds here. And those burgers will be done. Oh, now you got to add in some good bacon. Bacon. Though, those cheese burgers, bacon. Don't you? That's right. I love bacon. Sounds good frying up. And those those are good done. with any cheeseburger. Now, folks, we're going to drop those fries back in. And finish them up. Oh, yeah. And, of course... You gotta add that cheese to make a great cheeseburger. Cheese on there. Mike, these are almost done. Let's double stack these up. There'll be two patties for each uh, burger there. I'll finish this bacon up. Oh yeah, off the go. And then we're gonna throw some buns on here. 
I'm just gonna grill us up some buns now and we like to leave our bacon grease on there just so adds a little flavor in. Okay, we're gonna let Rick put this thing together. We're gonna show him how we like it. That's right. Of course, we're gonna start with our bun on top. And as you can see, Rick has removed his hazmat suit. And we're gonna put mustard on there. Get out, oh yeah, get out squeeze the tight there, there we go. And of course, uh, comes some ketchup. How about that? Let's go with that next. And uh, squeeze a little harder there, and there it goes. <laughs> next, our meat. We're gonna put some meat on here. Oh yeah, double patted, so we got that plenty looks of meat good. that burger. And of course, you know, you just gotta add in some bacon. Sound good? Yep, good bacon, bacon next right. there, Rick. There we go. And you can see that double cheeseburger, how thick it is. Now. Oh yeah. We're on the grill. Yes, looking good. Lots okay. of bacon. And then lettuce. Nope, nope, let's put some onion on there next. Oh yeah, onion next. There we go. Folks, that looks great. And now a little, uh, top that off and we'll follow that up with our lettuce. And then our pickles are pickles. on the way. Yeah, pickles. 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 I love pickles. A little smiley face there. We're going to blindfold them with some tomato. Yep. And then we're going to add a little of Made in South Carolina Duke's Mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. Folks, nothing tops and burger better than Duke's Mayonnaise. And then we're going to top it. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to wrap it, Mike, <clears throat> nice and tight. Roll her up, and that'll help keep them good and warm and kind of sizzle and let's steam the, a little bit. That's all the juices flow in there. Oh, yeah. Good. I said let's put this on a plate. Oh, yeah. Folks right here, you can see our fries and burger ready to roll. I'd really like for Rick to cut into this thing and show us how that looks on the inside. It's got to be nice and juicy in there, I would say. I'm starving, so. Same here, and nothing beats a great cheeseburger, folks. Now you can see firsthand what makes cheeseburgers great, great cheeseburger. again. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm, I can't Delicious. wait to dig into that. That's a cheeseburger. 